And then it got exposed. But how cool is that? Are y'all enjoying this? You like this right here? That was so much fun to do. My hands look like tar pants, but it was so fun. It's like a rainbow. Uh, yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. Right here, you guys, we're artists, and we want to be like really expressive with our colors, right? I don't care about color stained hands. Okay, so you know what? Y'all two are a little bit more vibrant. Then go ahead and walk through the audience. Let them get some pictures of y'all. Post it on Instagram. Post it on Facebook. Farouk Live will put you into our system. We have Devin back there. She's over there going to make that happen. And then we have a natural, okay? So look how nice and beautiful our natural came out. So you have to have a natural because not everybody's going to glow in the dark. And we did like a nice little ombre effect on her. And I shadowed her in with the darker roots going in with a 6RB. And then took them, literally like finger picked up pieces like this and just put the light in her down into the color and then onto the ends. And that's how you see that faded blend. Like look at this one. See how it's like another, it's a, like a shadow. It gets lighter, 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 lighter. That's because I actually put the lightener on top of the color and then onto the fresh hair by itself. So we're able to get those nice little blends. So we always like to have models that look very natural too. So this is awesome. So go ahead and walk to the audience, get a little quick peek at that. Look at the hair, see the texture, see the shine. Cynthia? Okay, so here we go. I am using Archie Shine Shades colors on Carly. I rooted it already with Archie Ionic Permanent Shine color. They're intermixable. You can actually use these colors, like it, mix them together like I did with Glenda, or you can actually use them one and then the other, as much as you want, as little as you want. You be the artist, you make it your own. Like, you know what? I started taking some art therapy classes because we're all artists and we start to look for a different outlet sometimes. My canvases, uh, well, all of our canvases talk and walk and they have an opinion and sometimes I don't want it to talk to me. So I decided to take some art therapy and- I love the way you said that. I just don't want it to talk to me, you guys. You just want to do your art, right? So I started to paint and the more I painted, the more I realized, you know what? I can paint with my hands on hair. What do you think? So I started actually, what I ended up doing is I started painting with my hands on the hair. And the more I painted, the more I realized, oh, I'm saving so much time. And time is money. So we're going to be using our hands to scoop up the color and apply it on the hair and just push. You'll be so surprised how artistic you can become when you just start feeling the color in your hands as opposed to using that brush to transfer it from the bowl to the hair. All right, I'm pushing up from fine to medium. So.